Hi guys and welcome to the Even Knows YouTube channel. So in honour of the fact that basically I think I've mentioned this in previous videos so if you watch any of the videos you should hopefully like be aware by now that I am just about getting ready to launch my Even Knows membership site which is called the Even Knows office. And this is basically a co-working space that I have created for anyone who's interested in growing passive income through building digital product businesses. That's something that I've personally been doing over the last few years and I'm really thankful to be at a point now where my digital product businesses make enough to cover my full-time income and yeah it was a journey to get here I made a lot of mistakes along the way there's so many things and helpful tips and tricks and steps that I've taken that I really want to share to help anybody get past all of that rubbish and just get straight to the point of building and scaling digital product businesses that actually make you passive income. And the Even Knows office is literally a place where every single month I'm gonna be releasing new content dedicated to helping you grow and scale your own digital product businesses. There's also gonna be a community in there of what I like to call co-workers, which are like-minded people who are doing the exact same thing of building their own digital product businesses. We can share information together, build our knowledge together. And of course, I'll be in there helping to answer any questions and I'll also be having live Q&A sessions and workshops as well. So it is a jam-packed space that I am so excited to share with you guys and basically just to open the doors too. So I get to have awesome co-workers as well in what I like to call the Evenos office that I can work alongside and we can help each other grow and scale our businesses and stay accountable as our passive income grows. So it is gonna be an amazing space. And I wanted to let you guys know about that by creating a number of YouTube videos where I'm basically sharing elements that I am gonna be going way, way more in depth about inside of the Evenos membership, but just basically to kind of share what we're gonna be talking about and just basically give you an insight into some of the content that's gonna be in there. So if you are interested in joining the Evenos office, definitely check out the description box below for the waiting list and as soon as the doors are open you'll be notified so you can straight away get access to the content and the community and you can start building your own digital product business so pretty amazing I've been working on it for a long time very very excited about it but in this video I kind of wanted to give you a behind the scenes just talking about one of the tools that I personally use that has had a massive impact in me building my digital product businesses and I'm going to be showing you some of the things I actually do with this tool so you can see firsthand you know it's not just a video of me saying this is a really great tool and leaving it at that I'm gonna literally show you the things that I do with this tool to help me build my businesses, build my digital products. And this tool is Canva. Canva, if you've watched some of my videos before, you'll probably know is my graphic design program of choice. I absolutely love it and it has helped me over the last probably three years, I think I've had it for now build and scale almost everything inside of my digital product businesses, everything that makes me money, my digital product businesses themselves, all the content and everything around it. I pretty much use Canva or Canva is involved in there somewhere. And that's just because I just find it such a helpful resource. Now, something that I will say straight away is I am no copyright expert, I'm no lawyer, I'm nobody who is going to be telling you exactly, you know, legally what to do. And so for me, even though there is, I know, different opinions on this and things like that, for me, whenever I use Canva, I am just using like the plain blank template for whatever I'm going to be creating. And I am including only either my own graphics, my own fonts, my own photography that I have done myself, or I am purchasing those design elements from somewhere that I know and trust. For me, that's Creative Market. I really love Creative Market. I posted a whole video on it, so if I can, I'll link it somewhere where I talk about how I purchase my own graphic design elements that I can use inside of everything that I'm gonna be talking about here. But I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way because I know that there's lots of questioning around what you can use and you can't use in terms of the fonts and the graphics and the photos that Canva readily provides for you. But I'm jumping ahead of that. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know about that. So the first thing I will do is if you don't know what Canva is, I will just introduce you to Canva. So Canva really quickly is a graphic design program that you can use. It's a website. You literally just type it in. You sign up to become a member. You can either have the free version 
or what I would always recommend, the pro version of Canva if you are thinking about building digital product businesses. If you're gonna use Canva, definitely go for the pro version of Canva. They have a free trial where you can try it and you can make sure it's right for you, but I've used it for years. I 100% pay for it myself and I absolutely love it. But basically what you can do with Canva is you can use it to help you create a whole wealth of different content and design elements that you can use inside of your businesses, particularly with what I create, which is digital product businesses. And in this video, I wanted to show you like behind the scenes, literally what I use Canva for and some of my products that feature things from Canva and just all of that stuff so you can actually get like the juicy, this is what this tool is being used for. And I'm not just saying, oh, I love it and then never really showing you how I use it. So if I jump over to my Canva dashboard, I have had Canva, like I said, for years. So there are lots and lots of designs and things that I have created through Canva. But basically when you sign up and you join Canva, you have the option to start creating a whole wealth of different things. And here is just an example of some of the templates that you can use, but I mean, it goes on and on and on. You can create, obviously, for example, if you wanted to create a freebie, you could use their checklist. And the way that I would do that is I wouldn't simply just, you know, copy one of their checklist ideas. But what I would do is, for example, if I wanted to create a checklist that I wanted to use for a lead magnet, for example, so when someone gives me their email, they'll get the checklist and they can download this checklist for whatever reason or whatever I've created it. But what I, what I wouldn't do is simply just click on this, download it and just have it as that because for me, I'm no, like I said, no copyright or lawyer expert, but I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So for me, I might, for example, take a design like this and then just use it as an idea of what I can do to so completely change out the photograph, maybe use one that I've taken myself or stock photography that I've purchased that I know I'm, I'm confident to use. I would change up the wording obviously so the checklist is suited for what my audience are downloading it for and I would completely just change it up but it would still give me an idea of how I can lay it out and just make it that much easier for me to do that. But I just kind of wanted to explain to you how I would use the templates and it, I just would never just click this, download it, and try and share that as a lead magnet because one, people can get access to it anyway, and second of all, because I'm not 100% confident with what can and can't be done with um, just Canva design elements. So for me, I would just actually change out the picture here, I would change up the wording, maybe change the font, and then I could use that as my own lead magnet. But what I wanted to show you now is just some examples of some products that I have actually created inside of Canva. So you could just get a feel for some of the things that you could do as well. So for example, literally as I'm talking about it, one of the resources that I've added inside of my membership site is this, which is an absolutely awesome workbook that I have created. It is in the first module that you go into when you access the Evernote office. And this is the flexible roadmap workbook. I won't go into what it is because it will all make sense when you actually join the office. But I created that entire workbook in Canva and I was able to sit down, plan it all out, put it all together, download it and then upload it into my membership site so that everyone has access to that resource. So that's something that I use, not only have I used that inside of my membership site, but I've also used Canva to help me create workbooks and planners that I actually sell inside of my Etsy shop and some free resources that I offer, for example, on my blog. So I just wanted to show you, for example, in my Etsy shop, pretty much all of the graphics that you see inside of my Etsy shop, including the digital products themselves and the imagery for the digital products are done inside of Canva. So my banner is done inside of Canva, my icon was created inside of Canva, all of the imagery for the products that I sell were created in Canva and the products themselves were created in Canva. So Canva has literally helped me build up my Etsy shop and make thousands inside of my Etsy shop business literally by using it as my graphic design program. And I actually have a video that I created a while ago, which I will link somewhere if I can find it, where basically I'm showing you how I create art printables, which is another product that I create inside of Canva and how I use Canva to create those, download them so I can upload them onto Etsy. And I have sold many, many art printables, had many lovely five-star reviews from those art printables, and I created all of that in Canva. 
Another thing that I wanted to show you is actually inside of my online course that I have, which is another digital product that I sell, all of the design elements, again, inside of my online course are created on Canva. So an example of that will be the thumbnails inside of the videos that I create inside of my course are created on Canva. Also any checklists or resources or tools that I have created and uploaded inside of the course are all created on Canva as well. Not only that, but almost all of the imagery that I have on my sales page dotted around inside of my course and obviously the imagery I create to promote my course as well is entirely created on Canva. So you can see why me personally paying the pro subscription on Canva, which I think is like a couple of dollars or pounds a month is just completely worth it. And it is a tool and a resource that I would just not be without. It is amazing. So yeah, that's just some of the things I have created. I've created all the design elements in my online course. I have created art printables. I've created workbooks. I've created planners inside of Canva that I sell. Another way that I use Canva inside of my businesses is when it comes to my YouTube channel. So for example, with my YouTube channel, all of my branding, like my banner is created on Canva, but also all of my thumbnails are created on Canva as well. So basically any thumbnail that you see in on the front of my videos when you click on them is all created in Canva as well. And it's super easy to do. It's super fun to do. I really enjoy it. And again, for the amount of income that my YouTube channel has managed to bring me in, paying a couple of dollars or a couple of pounds on a subscription for Canva is just a really great return on that. So I just wanted to show you that another way that I use Canva is to create my YouTube thumbnails. And again, all of these things I'm talking about, I'm gonna be going into so much more depth in how I create them inside of Canva, what tips and tricks I use, you know, what works, what doesn't work. I'm gonna be talking so much more in depth about that inside of the membership site because I know that I had to get my head around, you know, all of the design elements, all of the visual things that you need to create in order to build a digital product business, in order to sell digital products, or to use certain platforms. There's a lot of graphics that you need to create, imagery that you need to create. And if I can create step-by-step -step video tutorials, helpful resources inside of the membership group to make that process so much easier for you, it will make the process of building and scaling your digital product businesses so much easier and less stressful. So I'm definitely gonna be sharing so much more in depth about how I create all of these design elements inside of the membership site. But I just wanted to give you an example of some of the things that I use Canva, which is my graphic design program of choice what I use it for and then finally I just wanted to show you I have a blog as well and all of the imagery that you see inside of my blog is created on Canva as well so all my thumbnails my blog posts all the imagery inside of my blog posts everything is created inside of Canva and again I just find it such a helpful tool and resource if you are building your own digital product business like I always say you don't have to use Canva and it is completely dependent on which platform you find more intuitive, easier to use, that you feel comfortable using. I always say that you don't have to use a platform or a program or a resource or a tool that I love just because I love it. Go and check it out yourself. If there's another tool that you prefer, always use that. But I just wanted to introduce you guys to how I use Canva and all of the amazing things that it has helped me do inside of my businesses over the years. And again, like I mentioned, for me, I don't personally use kind of the pre-designed templates that I have. I just tend to like to start off with a clear blank template. So for example, this is just an A4 clear blank template and I just like to upload my own imagery, my own photographs, my own graphics that I have purchased on Creative Market or somewhere like that, that I can then use to basically create my designs, whatever it is that I need to create. But I just wanted to create this video to kind of give you a behind the scenes of some of the things that I use Canva for. This is by no means an extensive list. There are still probably things that I have not shown you that I use Canva for because it is just such a helpful tool to have if you're building digital product businesses. But also to let you guys know that the Evenos membership site will be opening soon if it's not already open. And to definitely check out the description box below if you want to become an Evenos coworker and go into so much more depth and just have a place and a space 
that's like your electricity. It's the place that you go to learn how to build your digital product businesses and to be with a community of people who keep you accountable and keep you pushing forward to scale and grow your passive income higher and higher and higher over time. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.